repair logs we're back in this time we have a nice laptop to repair huh? Lenovo ThinkPad X1 now let's check the customer email so the customer is saying Lenovo two USB-C charging ports failed Lenovo X1 Carbon 9 Gen so the customer want the USB-C ports to be replaced let's check the ports uh, under the microscope now, from what I can see here, both USB-C ports are detached from the motherboard. But the ports looks fine inside, you can see. So if the ports are good, we are not going to replace them. I will say, let's open the laptop and uh, check the ports. Now, when you are getting like jobs, like the customer want the USB ports to be replaced, like specific job, uh, your decision is the last decision i mean okay it is important what the what the customer want but you will be deciding if you're going to replace the ports or not because don't forget you have a we have here like a genuine charging port yeah if the ports are good and only has to be resolder that's what we're gonna do but if you decide to order ports and replace the port so you replace a genuine port with a copy port because most likely that's what you can uh, probably buy from uh, from internet it will be your responsibility and it will be your warranty so uh, you know it's kind of a tough decision if uh, you re you're gonna replace the port or use the same port most of the time i choose to use uh, the genuine port and the laptop is open yeah that's a classic motherboard <laughs> Now the ports are on the other side of the motherboard, so we have to take the motherboard out. Now this is something what I expect from every laptop manufacturer. You see, that's the jack port, the audio jack. And you can, uh, you know, replace it if it's getting faulty. Pretty nice from Lenovo. Now what is this? That's crazy. So this is the USB port from uh, from this Lenovo so you can swap it also this is proper nice okay so the board is out and this is one USB-C port oh that's bad I mean the tracks are gone <laughs> okay let's check uh, under the microscope uh, so what do you think about these ports uh, this is one second port but the problem is, we have here some tracks missing. Yeah, check here. So this pad is still fine. But this one is gone. We can fix it. And this one is gone. Which can also fix it. Here we have only one pad which is gone, this one. Now the ports, this one is looking good. I can't see any issue with this one. And this one is looking good. So I'm not gonna replace the ports. I mean, I'm curious what decision you will take on a case like this. Hmm? I mean, replacing the port with a brand new one, it will not help you, the ports are fine. The issue is the board. So let's get the solder iron. A little bit of rosin flux. And 180 degrees solder wire. A lot of rosin. Rosin everywhere. Yeah. We are trying to lower the solder temperature. 180 degrees is kind of a sweet point. Perfect. And here is looking good. Perfect. 
perfect. Let's start repairing the trucks. More in. Good. So we have this track, which is broken here. Good, this one is fixed. We have this one. Good, this one is fixed. Here we need that pad. Perfect. Good, so that part is fine. It has to come here. Perfect. So this one I said is still good, yeah, and we have this one, perfect. Good. Perfect. Yeah. All good. Now, you'll be laughing, but what I want, uh, it's actually, I want rosin here. Yeah. I don't want to use liquid rosin because it is possible the liquid rosin to go inside of the ports and then I will have a problem. So I want rosin on, uh, on the board. So I'm not going to clean whatever is here. Now let's see about the about the ports. Let's try and clean the pads, the broken pads from here. Yeah, clean. Let's try to put the pins back. Good, so they are looking good. Fresh solder. So I'm going to solder this port exactly here. Let me lower the hot air temperature. I'm going to go to 300, free, 320, 320 degrees. Okay, so the solder is getting melted slowly.
which is good. Good, so I'm gonna hold down uh, the charging port. Perfect, let's cool down. Good. Perfect. Let's plug a charger, a USB-C and meter, and see if the port is working. So plug in the charger. The meter, it is coming on. Check there, 19 volts, uh, 1 amp, so probably the board is starting. Yeah, 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 I can feel the heat on the heat sink. I can move the port up and down, so it is solid. Okay, you can see 19 volts, 1 amp. So this port is, uh, is done properly. Now the next one. Yeah, let's do the next one. First, let's take care of the charging port. Yeah, we do have a pad left there. Good. Perfect. Let's solder the power back. Same way. Hot air. Let's higher the temperature to 340. I believe we are fine. Even with 340, uh, we are fine. I mean, it's the, the port is not getting melted. I just want to be sure, you know, we have like proper bonds under the chip. Okay, so the port is in. I'm gonna hold the port down. Good. Perfect. Uh, let me be sure the solder is bonded here. Remember, we don't want this job to come back. And here, we have to be sure, yeah, it is bonded to the metal. Maybe a little bit more. Yeah, perfect. Good. So we have both ports repaired. Plug in the charger. This is the second port we fixed. And we have the charging light, 19 volts, one amp, proper solid. The other one coming on, 19 volts, like one amp, solid. So let's clean it. And I'm gonna use some hot glue just to be sure you know the ports are solid on the laptop. Use the propylic alcohol. Huh? How is looking? Huh? Looking fine to you? Yeah, it looks like, you know, like a perfect soldering job. But most important lessons I want you to keep in mind. The tool, it will not make the job better. Yeah, so one more time, we are using the 10 pounds soldering station. Remember? It's all about practicing and getting the soldering skill on a higher level. Remember, we have to prevent this happening again.
some hot glue here, perfect, and some hot glue here, perfect. Now let's be sure we are keeping uh, we are keeping the hot glue hot. Good. Let's put let's put quickly the board back. Yeah, that's that's what I want. Yeah. And now we are fine. Yeah, we have the charging ports there, and uh, there is a hot glue between the charging port and the case. Okay, all back in place. Let's test it. So we have one port here, plug in the charger, and the meter it is coming on. 19 volts with 3 amps, you can see, so actually it's charging the battery. And the other port, plug in the charger, the meter is coming on. 19 volts. And no current, and the current is going up. Yeah, 2.9 amps, you can see, so it's charging fine. Pressing the power button. Uh, we reset the BIOS, just we have to wait a little bit. And we have picture. Yeah. Restart. Okay. Uh, escape to continue and... And it's loading the windows. Mm -hmm. So what do you think about that? The current is still uh, 3 amps, which is fine. It was a hard job. I mean, we are like uh, 50 minutes, like ne nearly one hour. But we fixed the both USB-C ports. And the Windows is on, we can see the, the charging sign there. Plugging on the other port. The other port is coming on and we have the charging sign there. Perfect. Good. We done it. So I'm going to stop now. I will say uh, thank you for watching. You know, like, subscribe if you like the video. And see you on the next one. Bye. Hey, if you find my content being helpful, don't forget you can support this channel by pressing the join button. And you can get instantly access to our uh, members only cool collection and uh, discord private channels for support with your repairs also you can have a look on our uh, united kingdom uh, ebay where you can find some cool and unique products united states ebay store or our patreon page thank you